Hello, hello, hello. Hi everybody. Hello, it's me, Leslie, and I'm so excited to be here because this is my first stream of 2023. I can't believe it's 2023 already. And not only that, right, nearly at the end of January. I can't I can't believe it. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but this is also the first stream in my new craft room. So I'm super excited and a little nervous because we all know that the, uh, you know, video setup friends like to come out to play whenever you change anything up. And we've got a new layout, new cables, new camera rig, um, all sorts of things that we are test driving. And um, which is why we've had a few weeks off because we're, well, we were away for the Christmas break, of course. And, um, and then uh, we we're only back on the 9th of of January, we had a nice long break over Christmas, and then when we got back, it was go, go, go. So what we got here, we've got candy. <laughs> I'm super excited. And we've got Amanda. Hello, I love the new craft room. Ta -da. You like my LED light, isn't it so pretty? And I've got an app that I can change all the colors and do fun things, it's really cute. And I've got a massive craft island in the middle which is amazing and I have found that the more space that I have crafting the more I occupy I think that's just standard though <laughs> Louise my cup and see us in yay very very excited and Suzanne's here looks great Marthy Bronwyn oh all my pals are here to play with me so exciting yeah so this is the new craft room and um, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown, hopefully that interests you. Um, so the door is up here on the left, and then as you come in on this back section, I've got two taller cupboards at the end, and then it goes into my workbench, come aside in an L shape. And in the corner I have my camera, so that's me pointing at my monitor. So if you see me looking over my shoulder, it's because that's the screen where I see my face. Um, eventually, I'm hoping to have some sort of mirrored monitor over here so that I can just look up and down at the camera. But this is what we've got so far. Um, as it curves around to the left, then I have a sink in this corner. And this whole side here has got covers underneath it. And then behind me, I have like built-in IKEA Alex drawers, uh, with the exception of this section right behind me, which is uh, two shelves, which has got all my stamps and dimes in it. I'll have to give you a grand tour. We'll record a tour at some point. Um, speaking about recorded tours, we before we packed up my old temporary craft room, I did actually record some footage of the setup down there. Um, and I think Morgan is still editing it. One of those things that we'll edit it when we got a chance and then it's taken far longer than, than we expected. But we'll get that up as well. And yeah, so I will not be doing too much crafting tonight because Craig is just back from France. The camera right? Yay! Craig is just back from France. He was skiing. And he's exhausted, so I don't want to cause too much noise because he wants to go to sleepies. Um, and we have lots of plans for the weekend. Plus, my throat is a little scratchy, so all of these reasons I thought, right, what I'll do is I'll take it easy. Jasmine's asking, am I crafting tonight? She obviously hasn't realized I'm live already, baby. Um, so there's a couple of things I wanted to mention to you actually. Let me flip this back around again so that you guys can see me because there's a couple of things I wanted to mention. First of all, um, you may have seen that we have launched a retired section on the store. We are running out of space again. It seems like an internal problem. And um, we have decided that we're going to retire a whole lot of products. So what that means is we're not going to get restocks and we are selling them off in order to just get them out of the door so we create some more space. And this does mean that we have a whole section on the website now that is the Happy Doodle Vault or the retired section, the retiring products. And we've also put that on the featured products on the front page. But you can get some amazing deals. There's some stuff that were over ordered, so we have a lot of it left. So it's down for to like peanuts, so you can buy them 
for peanuts. Um, other things, we, or maybe only have five or six of those items left. I know the day we launched the retiring product, we completely sold out a perfect day. So it's gone now. I'm so sorry, guys. It's gone. But hopefully that will that'll leave room for more uh, fun products in the future. It has to be done. I resisted for so long. <laughs> Louise says, oh, I'd love a big craft space. I'll have to wait until the kids grow up and move out. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> um, I might be the echoey. But I don't really have very much um, soft furnishings in this room. So when I recorded a video, I was like, my voice is just echoing off everything. So I hope it's not too distracting and it's okay for you guys. The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is do you like my lovely hoodie? <laughs> Some of you may have noticed or realized that we did a pre-order for hoodies like this. This has got stitching on it. And we did a pre-order around about Black Friday time frame. I think it was November. Um, and we um, got those um, jumpers made, those sweaters made. Now, the manufacturer actually did a boo-boo and they printed them instead of embroidered them. So we've sorted out everybody who had pre-orders, but it does mean we have got some printed hoodies, which will be um, a variety of different colors and sizes, but they have a logo that's printed. So they're on the store, so you can get a bargain if um, you check that out. So they're limited quantities, whatever was left. Um, I have to say that I did go and cherry pick a couple. Um, like I know, which one was it? Somebody had ordered a cranberry, I think it was Ruth. I think maybe Ruth had ordered um like a, a, a cranberry colored one or something. And when I took it out of the box, I was like, oh, that's a cranberry. And I was like, that's fun in my wardrobe. <laughs> Absolutely fun. So those are the two things, retiring products and hoodies for sale. Grab a bargain. Oh, third thing. Third thing is we had a Chibitronics hop on Instagram this week. Have done it. Go and check it out. All right, so tonight I wanted to use something that was retiring. And I'm not gonna go overly complicated because um, like I say, Craigie is newsing. So I'm gonna be using this super dude stamp set. I'm gonna pair that up, I think, with the cathedral windows, which is a die that I do not use enough. Well, let's get started. Underneath my desk here, I've got a pull-out tray and I have got some essential bits and pieces in there. And I also have drawers to the left of me. No, this is the right, the right of me and the left of me. But the ones to the right um, hold my sort of most commonly used things, my ink pads, baby wipes, all sorts of fun things like that. Acrylic blocks, memo tape, glue burt, you get the picture. So when I'm crafting, these drawers are pretty much open the whole time, which is fine for me. Nessa says the sound is a bit echoey, so I wonder if it is because of the fact that I'm in the new office. And like I say, there's not much soft furnishings. It's moving, it's bouncing around. I still, um, there's still a few things I need to, to do. For example, um, I want to put up some hooks so that I, primarily so I can hang up my dressing gown. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm like constantly cold and I'm like in my dressing gown all the time. And then I do a live stream and I'm like, oh, I better take this off. But I was so cozy. And um, I wanna put up some picture frames. I've got some over here, you can't see, but I've got a nice print that says rise and shine in a big yellow sun. And then I got some gorgeous prints for my Christmas present. And it's like a, a is it called a diptych where you've got like two, it's like one collection, two together. And on one side is um, 
the one side is what? One side is Northern Ireland and the other side is Scotland. And then there's like a little joiny bit. Candy is saying the face camera is a bit echoey, but the down camera is not. Interesting, because it should all be coming from the same microphone. Hmm, okay, let me test drive this. One sec. Uh, face camera is a bit echoey, is that what you said? So this one is not, and it's coming overhead DSLR. And then this one, aha! Bear with me. Bear with me. Apparently I can't do that. I think it's going to be a more intense fix than I originally thought. So we'll get that fixed for next week. And we'll leave it on. We'll leave it on this view, which is the um, actual volume mic. <laughs> Jasmine says, I always have my dressing gown over my clothes. And then also that bell wants to go out. <laughs> That's typical. I had the same with the ranger. He was woofing to go outside not long ago. Okay. My hero. Candy says it's weird because the down camera is louder like you're wearing it and the, the face camera sounds like it's nearby but not a big thing. Yeah, so I think it, the, t the top down one has connected to the lavalier but the other one is actually the camera, the microphone on the camera, which it shouldn't be. But we, I actually got a new like shotgun mic um, and it is super echoey. I need to... I think what I need to do is do lots of configurations and I w knew I wasn't going to be able to do that tonight without because Craig's been away, like I said. So um, it's probably the other mic being deleted, but we'll figure that out. Okay, I'm going to color in a little bit of cardstock. This is the paint on cardstock, which is my favorite for ink blending and then cut it out using my cathedral window dies. And I'm feeling purpley. So let me see what I have got. Maybe shaded lilac, dusty concord. I can hear you good though, she says. Yay, that is excellent for me. Shaded lilac, dusty concord. And we'll get that blended. All right. Did everybody have a lovely Christmas? This is the part where I live vicariously through all of you. And you need to tell me what amazing, beautiful, wonderful things that you got for Christmas as Christmas presents. And I appreciate it was nearly a month ago, but that is no excuse. You need to dig down deep into the wells of your memory and tell me what you got. Candy, what did you get for Christmas, girl? Can you remember that far back? What about you, Marcy? Who else do we have? Nessa? Haley came home for a week, said Candy. Well, that's an amazing present. That's awesome. I bet you had lots of fun. And Amanda too, what did you get for Christmas? Let's see if I can get a lighter color in here. Mm, maybe a milled lavender? Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is one that does not get enough loving in my house. Ooh, Amanda from Pear Blossom says, I got a big set of Olos. Awesome. And now the question is, what do you think of them? Are you enjoying them? Have you had a chance to test drive them all?
Candy says, yes, it's been two, two years. Oh my goodness, that's a long time. That's a long, long time. Marcy says, I just need to remember what I got. I know it's hard, isn't it? I got, oh, I tell you what I did get. And if you saw um, the video that I put out at New Year, you might, um, you might have seen this in the video. I got these in my stocking. And they are metallic watercolor paints. Look how pretty they are. They're very similar. So I already had the Ganzai Tambi gem colors and starry colors. But these here are um, just really cheap and cheerful. And I think they were maybe two pounds, three pounds, something like that. So I have mostly been using it just to create like splashes and lines and things, but they're so pearlescent and beautiful. Maybe we'll use it tonight on our purple background. That would be fun. Oh, let me catch up, let me catch up. Uh, Amanda says she loves them. Roman got a sewing machine, but hasn't had the chance to use it. Ooh. Right, this is where I need to... Um, this is where it's a little bit less convenient because I need to run around the room to... to make sure my cameras don't time out. Well, that's okay. We'll just have to, we'll just have to deal with it. The, every so often, Leslie does a little sprint. But a sewing machine, huh? Amazing. I will be doing some sewing this weekend. So what did, um, what did I get? I got a, I got a new pair of roller boots. <laughs> and I got, so roller boots is my new obsession, guys. It is what it is. I have to be truthful about it. I got a new pair of roller boots. I got a new pair of laces for my boots. I got a whole load of like long socks to wear with roller boots. And I got light up wheels on my roller boots. I got very spoiled. To be fair, I bought myself the roller boots. The rest of them, all the rest was from everyone else. Milled lavender. Here we go. Shade of lilac. Marcy says those are great for splatter. They really are. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give that some uh, test driving on this. I think. So pretty. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is looking good. Pretty, huh? Check, check him up here. I'm gonna cut it before I splatter it because it, if I if I do it the other way around, I'll be able to die cut it for ages. In fact, I might need to darken up some of the edges now that this is die cut anyway. Let me read the comments before I go to the Gemini. Uh, Amanda says you'll love them. You'll love the Olos. Yay! Jasmine says get those extra steps in for sure. And Marcy says my friend's daughter made drink coasters that had various pictures of my family and pets on them. I thought it was very personal and sweet. That is so sweet. That's amazing. And Candy says I'm excited to try the markers because I miss colouring and not having the Copic and not having the Copics that will work. I think I have one of every colour at least coming. Yay! Now, Broman has asked, does Piper like to roller skate too? No, no. Piper is not built to roller skate, I'm afraid. She, I did convince her to come to a roller disco, um, but she was very nervous. She's quite, she's quite, she's a bit of a klutz. <laughs> she's not very brave when it comes to things like that. I say that she she had last year she did learn to ski and everything so she did a great job but I'm actually okay that she doesn't roller skate because at Christmas time I was in a panto and um, had the best time and then this year she's like I think I'm going to join panto next year and I was like okay cool but I quite liked having something that you know 
wasn't centered around the fact that I was a mom. I feel like that's really rude of me, but it's the truth, so why not say it? So, she's going to join Panto next year, which she'll love, so I'll be happy to have her there. But for roller skating, it's going to be mom time, I think. All right, let's crack out these bad boys. Metallic watercolor paint, including watercolor brush. Amanda says, awesome candy. I have some SN Spectrum Noir markers too, and they all work perfectly together. Yay. Marcy says, I love your Matthew McConaughey. Oh, thanks. You're the best. Can you get all the markers in the UK? I do not know the answer to that question. If anybody does, please let us know in the comments. I'm, I'm assuming that there would be an Amazon job. Roman says, my daughter got skates for her birthday in December. Yeah. I am well into my skating now, guys. It is proper obsession time. It's so pretty. Okay, pop that back in. Do, 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 do. This one's a bit more pinky. Which is more similar to the colors in the middle. Gotta love a splatter, guys. And I can't believe these um, paints came with a brush as well. Right, I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed. All right, let's pop this to the side and we'll color in our little super dudes. Broman says, I agree. It's good to have some time for yourself. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to add some clouds at the bottom and then we'll color in our super dudes. The other thing I did over Christmas and New Year when I was getting all moved into my new office, my new craft room, was because um, I had to find like homes for everything again. Which sounds fun, but it's also slightly stressful, guys. <laughs> um, it really was. Um, but, you know, it's a first world problem, <laughs> I will admit. But I went through and I made like a little section for top folded note cards and for side folding note cards and whatnot. So. I now have a little stash. Uh, four and a quarter. And I have a little stash of all of those things. So I can just open the drawer and pull one out. Although I have been uh, crafting with our new release. Yes, the new release is coming. Probably February we're looking at. Um, that's exciting. Yeah, so I've been playing with my new release. So I'm actually, I've found that I've gone through quite a lot of my note cards already. There we go. And I'm going to die cut a piece for the bottom down here. Jasmine says, working on a card for the Heavy Doodles Challenge this month, or tonight, with the Otters, yay! And also asked, does anyone in the UK go into the crafting live show at Sandown? Ooh, 
good question. I am not going there, but I have been there before. We'll have fun. Debbie's here. Debbie J's crafting corner. If I put this here, then I don't have to look up the side. Um, and Ruth says, I need to come for a visit to see the new craft room before I start getting my kid out. Yes! Totally agree. Absolutely agree. Okay, so here we've got a stitched rectangular panel that we're going to add straight onto my note card, like so. And then I have a panel here. And we're going to turn this into some clouds. Like so. But I'm going to take a new piece of memo tip. And I'm going to leave enough room at the bottom for a sentiment. I'm thinking. Put the sentiment down there, I think. So for those of us, those of you who just joined, I'm using the Super Dudes stamp because this is one of our retired products. So if you haven't seen the Happy Doodle Vault, which is the retired section on the Happy Doodle store, you're going to want to check that out because you're going to get lots of bargains over there. So check it out and get some good deals. Okay. Look at how beautiful this is drying. Shiny. Ooh, I think I want to add some white to it. Let's add some white to it before I color in. My super dudes. Ruth says, or you visit me and tell me how to lay it out. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, though, like you, um, it's really a personal choice, isn't it? Like you, different ways that you, that's why I kept asking Amanda so much. It's like, tell me what you've learned and what I should and shouldn't do. And I'm, I remember Amanda Stevens saying to me, I regret getting a little sink, get a big sink. So I did, I got a big sink. So you should do the same. If you're planning on getting a sink, that is. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Jasmine says, I've just seen that my Heffy Doodle parcel is due tomorrow. Then my Heffy Doodle collection will be complete, plus another hoodie. <laughs> You're obsessed, girl. <laughs> and I love it. Well done. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Let's get some colors on the go here. I think at the bottom, I'm going to do have a super birthday. And I'm going to give one of my little dudes gingery hair. So what is this? YR04 and Y35, 35. And I've also got an E11 just to kind of put some brown in certain sections. In fact, I'm going to go darker. E35. Nice. Ruth says, Big think it shall be for the best, for the best, for the best. 
Oops, he's nearly smudged that. What colors should I have on these little guys' outfits? What do you guys think? What will be the colorful outfit? What color should their cape be? Their little pants? Little top. I'm going to do bare legs for this guy. There's always a, will he be wearing leggings or will he be flying with bare legs? Either works. As we know, superheroes come in all shapes and sizes and costumes. <laughs> Some green would stand out. Yes, I think so. It's a good shade, actually. Like a lime green. Or the green in my hoodie. This is apple green. Oh, I don't know if I have an apple green in this. What are you? YG03, which is yellow green. Let's see what I've got here. I think that's similar. Love it. I like to do little lines up the cape and then it looks like a shadow on some like creases of the cape. I think that works. Good. Teal and lime, says Amanda. Ooh, yes. Jasmine says, I think I'm going to, to live in Heffy Doodle Hoodies now. I'm able to finally to get rid of all of my extra huge ones. I know you've lost a lot of weight, Jasmine. Good for you. We're going to go for a teal as well as this. Teal and lime will work. This is my kind of superhero. Is there, are there any superheroes that have teal in their costumes? Is there? When I think teal, I think like Princess Jasmine, but she ain't no superhero. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go for this guy over here as well. Maybe we'll do him the opposite way around, will we? He's going to have lime mask. Oh, I forgot to do the ear. Oh, I've just remembered I have another announcement. And that is
Change my batteries. Batteries blatantly lied to me. Secret, secret. Oh, this is where I have to repeat what I said now, and I don't know where I where it cut out. <laughs> So I think it cut out just where I said I had something else to tell you. Is that right? Hey, Painter. Hey, buddy. Um, it's a cliffhanger. Can you hear me now? Let's ask that question. Can you hear me? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. We heard a knife and that's, <laughs> that's so frustrating for you guys. Okay. So bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so I said that the other uh, thing that I wanted to sh tell everybody was that we are having a design team call. Yay! So for any of you who are interested in applying, we have got the design team call going live. I think it's going live on Monday. I'm pretty sure Morgan and Amanda sorted out the bits and pieces today <laughs> and it um there's going to be like a form that you fill in that's like share your instagram do all this kind of stuff um and yeah so i mean i'm just looking forward to it because i love well, we've got some we've got some natural movement in the team happening some people are wanting to swap over from like a blog role to an Instagram role and things like that. There's always, um, there, there's always someone that's like, well, life's hard at the moment. And we're quite flexible in regards to that. So that's all good. Um, but we also love doing a design team call because it's a wonderful way to get to see people's work and to um, investigate and see if there's any other one out there who would maybe want to do either if, even if you're not don't get a spot on the team we can do like guest spots and things like that so i'm really excited yay it's one of my favorite things actually getting to see everybody's applications yeah Jasmine says, I'm so excited to throw my name in the hat. Yeah. Do it. Right, let's get these guys die cut out. Definitely. And if you have any questions, just shout and I will answer them in regards to the design team or about anything really, to be honest. Hey Susan and Debbie. Debbie says that's awesome. There it is. Love it. Here we have one little dude and two little dudes. I think I need to darken up some of his shadows on his skin. And the other guy too. Ronwin says, I was so excited to see my friend Steph guest design for you at the end of last year. Yeah, Steph, oh, she did such a great job. We love getting uh, different people in to to guess. It's so much fun. Got a little stash of um, things over here now. Did you hear that? My phone was going, press the button. Let me go get my steps in, guys. The dog gets so curious whenever I'm like walking the long way around. Yeah, that looks 
good. So let's darken this one up too. Jasmine says, I've already been prepping since I saw the email. Yeah, we had a little email go out, a newsletter go out the other day that was like, by the way, this is coming. And there was a few messages received, received from uh, hardcore heavy doodlers going, Whoa! Super exciting. All right, all right. Brahman says she is the only one crafty YouTuber I've met in real life. There you go. Where is my... Some pieces. Okay, so I have my top pulling note card. Pull out my tray and get my ATG gun. Do y'all like my nail? This is my... Um, my excuse to get my nails on today was because I was taking photos of projects for the new release and for um, the new sparkle mixes that's coming out. And for the sparkle mixes, we like hold hold it like this and take our photos. So I was like, I need to have a nice nail. It needs to be pretty. Was my excuse to get my nails done anyway. But these ones are actually the. Um, semi cured gel ones, they're like stickers that you stick on, so they're they're kind of weird. It's definitely new for me. The new thing, where is the did I lose it? Is it under here, it's under here. Jasmine says, Does that mean more enamel dots? Yay, sparkle mix. <laughs> yes, there's more sparkle mixes. There's one more enamel dots and pattern, and there's two pattern papers. So I'm excited for those too. In fact, I got a shipping notification to say that the enamel, not the enamel dots, the shipping notification to say that the pattern paper pads shipped today. They are on their way to me. We've got, have a super birthday. So let's get these done. Just using a little ruler here to nudge these up. In fact, I could probably do it this way. Making sure there's enough room for the word super in the inside. In this way, they're on one line. And I'll just go black for these ones. But I'm either going to go purple or teal or lime for the super. What do you guys think? Jasmine says, I love enamel dots. <laughs> we should add some enamel dots to this uh, card tonight. What do you guys think? Enamel dots, I think, just create a lovely, like, shine. And it's an embellishment, but it's not too, like, fussy. That's what I like about them. And they're also really good for um, boy cards, too. I mean, they can go on any card, but... I tend to reach for sparkle mixes and sequins. Then for boy cards, I'm a bit, sometimes I'm a bit like, mm, I don't know whether he would appreciate the sequin quite as much as I appreciate the sequins. <laughs> Let's 
let's get some Catherine Puller ink on the go here. And I think we're going to go for Aquatini. Which is no doubt hiding in the... Uh, hiding on me. Neighborly sea glass. Mardi Gras would also work. Oh, in the park looks nice too. Mm. Where is Aquatine? Oh, there it is. Aquatini or Lime Ricky. Ooh, both would work really well. I've lost my comments. Amanda says, I agree. Enameled up for like nice sneakers. Gems are like high heels. I love that analogy. You've got to coordinate embellishment to match the outfit, so to speak. I agree. Oh, and Amanda says, I love to color my enamel dots too. Oh, do you just like add some Sharpie to them or something? It's a good shout. Pretty. Ah, so good. Super duper. So Ruth, when you're making your craft room, I really um, recommend having a shelf underneath your crafting space so that you can um, pull things in and out. That, well, well, I guess it depends whether you're crafting standing up or sitting down, because maybe if you're sitting down, it's not so handy to pull things in and out. But it could just be a space that you pop things in um, rather than pull in and out. That would work. Right, this is going to go right on here. This one on top like this. But you know me. Let's get some foam tape on there. I have some big foam here. raise up this whole section here. Suzanne says, I love your nails and your hoodie color. This was a, what we call a happy accident that it matches my hoodie. Um, because I ordered these. These are the stick on ones. I just got them off Amazon because I was intrigued and interested to see what the stick on ones would be like. Um, plus, I thought it's handy if, um, you know, if I'm doing product photos and it, it, sometimes you like to like, hold a card like this and get a nice soft background. And it's horrible whenever you do that and you're like, oh, my nails just aren't on par today, you know? So. Well, if I have some stick-ons, especially for that, you, to do this, I only need the thumb done. <laughs> I'm letting you in on trade secrets here. You only need the thumb done when you're taking product photos like that. Um, but these ones are like semi-cured gel. So you stick them on, 
and then put them under the UV light. And so far, we're good, but it was only done today, so we'll see. Maybe they're the kind of nails that only last two days, in which case I'll be like, yeah, not cost effective. It's always interesting to see how easy it is to pull off release paper with fancy nails as well. Jasmine says, I have drawers underneath my craft table. I'd be lost without them. Glues, tapes, certain cardstock, etc. Each has a place and it's easy to grab and go. Yeah. I like that idea. Have a super birthday. Yay. So what I like about this is that I can now add these guys on here but like overhang the edges which i really enjoy that effect Looking good. Right. So I did pull out some enamel dots because I was thinking purple, but now I'm thinking I need yellow and teal. So let's see what else I've got in my stash. Got some yellow ones here. And purple. Ooh, here's purples. No, I don't want those purples. Ooh, lime though. Lime will do. And the yellow. And this part up here. Trying to accessorize Amanda, I'm trying. <laughs> so pretty. Nice. going to add some white gel pen because right here I have gone outside the line and I'm going to add some dots and some little strokes I like the look of that. So cute. And that is pretty much my card done, to be honest. Not a complicated one to start us off in the new year, which is always good. Sweet, simple, effective, awesome. I'm going to add a couple of little 
twinkles on my purple landscape or background here. Oh, Debbie. Debbie says, be sure to smash the like, subscribe, and show Leslie some love. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yay. Guys, I think we're done. Let's have a look. Here it is. Have a super birthday. And these little guys are flying through that purple sky. It's vibrant and bold. It's beautiful. And it's got that shiny sparkle from that metallic um, paints that I used. So cute. I feel like you should be carrying a birthday cake. <laughs> well, if I'm going to add that, I'll have to do that later. <laughs> what do you guys think? Looks good, huh? Love it. Adorable, says Debbie. And Sandra says, very cute card. Oh, and Suzanne as well, saying, I love it. Okay, I'm going to swap, swap over to the echoey camera. Bear with me. Uh, I'm just saying that, that is all for today. Um, we will be doing a live stream on Monday, either myself or Morgan, I, th I think. Morgan? Yeah, I think it is this Monday. I can't remember. Oh, maybe it's not. She's off on Monday. Have a look on our Instagram because we put through a, a schedule of when our live streams are going to be. So... And um, hopefully what this means is you can go on to YouTube, find the live stream and then um, click on it so that uh, it will then remind you on your phone that, it, that we're going live. And that'll be lots of fun. <laughs> I will be back then for some crafting next week. Check out those live streams are listed on Instagram. Check out our hoodies on the store. Check out the retired section. When it's gone, it's gone. I cannot stress this enough. No sooner had the cat sold out, then we put a little story up going, oh, we're sold out. And then about three people were like, no, cat's perfect. I want it. It's too late, guys. So we're probably going to add some stories whenever we get down to uh, some low numbers. We don't always remember. We don't always see it getting that low. It's so lovely to hang out with you guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you next time. Happy crafting.